welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Miser. I mean, <laughs> Miserari. Let's play Reseteer on Nuclear Gothic. Where we last left off, it was day quattro, and we are behind on funds. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that today. Just gonna check our calendar. Yeah, we got five days to make a sum of money. So let's go ahead and line our uh, shelves. Alright, I... <laughs> I've been playing too much Miserari. I'm not used to these controls. So let's put a long sword right here. Hopefully Louie will buy it. And, uh, hmm. I think uh, Windbreaker will do. And, uh, hmm. A <laughs> back scratcher! Alright. I think it's good to have treasures up front. No, 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 no! Oh, yeah, later on we get to decorate our store, and Tyr thinks that our store is absolutely plain from what our decorations are so far. And uh, customers will actually think differently of our store depending on how we decorate it as well. It's all very important. And it's a fun thing to do as well. Needs more egg toast. Actually, people like oranges too. Oranges suffer a lot. Put an orange down. It's delicious and nutritious. Alright, you guys. It's time to open up shop. Whoa, old men running the world. Hi there! My daughter in law asked me to pick this up. What in the world does your daughter in law need with an old muffler? Is she a biker? I can't buy it at that price, you know. Uh, okay, bro. I hear you. How about 55? Uh, see? That's a fine price. Thank you so much. Yay! Alright. Not sure what the old men uh, patterns are. Louie! Hi there! What can I get you? What? You have this? I mean, of course you have this. How much? Louie, for you? Baby. 600. You have to be kidding, Reset. Uh, uh, uh. D did I say 600? I'm at 540. <laughs> That's a great deal. Thanks, Reset. Thank you so much. Being too nice. I'll never be able to fail my shop at this rate. Hi there! Oh, little lady. How much for this? What in the world are you buying a longsword for? Fifteen hundred, old man. A good deal, little lady. Thanks, please come again. Eee! Well, we made some money. Hmm. This is the weirdest shop setup I've ever seen. We're gonna do it, uh... Yeah, we're gonna do it again. <laughs> we... Hi there! I'm running an errand! Alright, now little girl, I know that she can't pay a whole lot, so I'm just gonna charge her 10%. Thank you, Miss Reset. Thanks. Please come again. Oh, hi. Welcome. My daughter-in-law asked me to pick this up. You have a weird daughter-in-law, dude. Okay, bro. How about... 1920. Hmm. Well, it's reasonable enough. Thanks! Please come again! Level up! Welcome! 
Can I help you with anything? You have one of these? It's a lucky day for both of us, then. Ooh, yes it is, Mr. Big Spender. Love this guy. I love this guy. Alright. 1040. Hmm. Can't give you... Can't you give me a slightly better deal? Bro! You gave me the best deal I could give! Show me else you're gonna find sandals for a thousand bucks! <laughs> a thousand bucks. Okay, that seems fair. Thanks! Please come again! Eee! Hi there! Working hard, Reset? Oh, I'll take this, please. How many of these do you have? Why are you buying from me? You sell to me! Oh, 200%, holy crap. Alright then, I'd call it a fair deal. Thanks! Please come again! Yee! I sold leather gloves! Hi there! What can I get for you? You have one of these? It's a lucky day for both of us then. Alright. Six fifty for chocolate? Alright, I'll take that price. Thanks! Please come again! Holy cow, it's late. Time seemed to fly by today. Speaking of time, I plan on doing some mild schedule management for you from now on to ensure that you are working in an effective manner to pay back the debt. Schedule management? Quite. First, I have broken up the day into four time periods. Okay, yeah, here's where the meat and cheese is going to fly by in this game, too. Morning, afternoon, evening, and night. What you can do and how much you can do depends on the time of day. Hey, yeah, the clock's been broken up into four areas. Think of it as a part of a slice of time. A slice. Mmm, like a pie. Indeed. I thought I would be able to keep your attention if I made it rather similar to some sort of sweet food. So there's the morning slice, the afternoon. Oh, I'm getting hungry. <clears throat> anyway. Now, to explain in detail, generally you can only act between morning and night. When night ends, you need to go to bed. Trying to run a shop while sleep deprived is unpleasant, so... I'll say, I'll close up when it gets late. So. You essentially have two options for each slice. You can open the store for a time or go about time on doing business. You can not do both at once, so decide in advance what you need to do. To be clear, opening the shop will consume a slice. And returning to the store after going out, regardless of what you actually do, will also consume a slice. But what if I go to, like, the plaza and then the chapel? You can get around town easily enough to avoid consuming a slice with each move. Only when you return to the store will the clock advance. So in that case, I should do a lot when I leave the shop. That is correct! Yes, that is a good attitude to take. Now. There is another vital element, leaving town altogether. Visiting a dungeon will consume two slices, no matter what. It will? It takes that long? So if I go in the morning, I'll get back in the evening? That is precisely how it works. Thus, you can only leave for the dungeon at an early point in the day. If it is night, or if you have done something else that evening, you cannot go. Because if I did go, I'd get back real late, right? Exactly. Not only would you annoy your adventurer companions with staying out so late, you would also be dead on your feet the next day. After returning. Man. 
man. This is a lot to wrap my head around. You will get used to it, I am sure. Before you know it, you will be thinking about it naturally. You think so? Well, it helps that you will always be able to see how much time a particular action will consume. Simply pay attention to the clock. That is everything. If you ever want to go over this again, simply ask me when we are in the shop. I will be glad to go over it as an option if you need. Pike! Okay, so... Well then, you seem to be, uh, have developing a basic understanding of how to sell things to people and not drive them to burn the shop in anger. yep Easy as pie! Being a truly great store owner involves more than just selling things, however. There are times when people will want to sell items to you as well. Really? I suspect we will begin to get such offers soon. But I already buy stuff from the guild and the market. So why should I worry about buying stuff from the customers? There is one major difference between a guild or market purchase and a purchase from an individual. Individuals do not have set prices in other words. You can haggle as you do with selling. Haggling down, that is. Oh, so I can get stuff really cheap? But that seems like it'd be pretty hard. Fundamentally, buying and selling are not that different. The customer shows you an item they wish to sell, and then you set a price and perhaps negotiate. Obviously, you wish to pay less than the base price of the item. Okay, so buy low, sell dear, right? Just so. That is the very core of a successful business. Nothing. Shall we practice? The fundamental procedure is the same as when selling. Kao! Welcome to Reseteer! Would you buy this from me? Um, okay. Need to name a price lower than the base. So, uh, think. Press down. Come on, me. You can do this. So, what should I set it to? Let's try about 30% under. 70... Well, 70. Not bad, but I suspect most customers will be fine with going lower. I like that. Try lowering the price a bit more. 70% or less, perhaps. 70 is uh, 70 is good. But let's, uh, for the sake of the tutorial, do 65. Excellent. This is a good price level. Now then. Let us practice haggling over the price a little. The concept is essentially the same as selling something. Now that you have offered a price, you believe it to be fair. Adjust your offer until they agree to sell it to you. Okay! Let us begin then. Could you offer me a little more? I think it is worth a lot. Uh, okay. So I need to set a higher offering price. Yes, between 50 and 70 base is a good target, which means I overpaid. You will gain an item to sell without giving up too much money. And that is essentially how it goes. You seem to have a decent enough grasp of it. Well, let's just put Siri into practice again. I will sell you something. You, I will sell you several items. If you buy them from me successfully, I believe you will be ready for, to proceed. Well, let us begin. Hello! Welcome to Reseteer! What would you be willing to pay for this? Alright, let's go to like 60 for this. Yes, an excellent price. Thank you so much! Yes, well done. Let us do that once more. Hello! Welcome to Reseteer! What would you be willing to pay for this? Second verse, same as the first. Yes, an excellent price. Thank you so much! Very, very good. You are ready. If you ever wish to practice again, simply ask. Hmm. 
I think leaving t uh, leaving Resetir wouldn't do us that much good. There's no time to go dungeon crawling, so let's just set up shop again. Put up some egg toast. People love egg toast. We don't have that much to sell, though. Hmm. Might need to move things. That'll do. Time to open up shop. Welcome. Could I get this, please? Sure. For the low, low price of 390 picks. Is it that much? You can't bring it down at all? Ah, oh, sure I can. Only for your pretty face. That's a pretty good deal, to be honest. Thanks! Please come again! Hi there! What can I get you? Mommy asked me to sell this. Her mom made a beef bowl and made her daughter carry it, unwrapped, hot, to the receteur to sell. Okay. Let's try for 1400. Okay. Eh, not bad. Thanks. Please come again. And yes, you do get a uh, market experience for buying as well. This is a present for daddy. Oh, she's adorable. <laughs> All right. She gave me a good deal on that thing, and this is a present for her father, so how's 10% sound? 277. Okay, thank you! Thanks! Please come again! I like that little kid. <laughs> Louie! Welcome! Looking for something special? And, of course, you're selling this when I'm near broke. Ah, and this will increase his defense. He's definitely going to equip it. Louis! That was 3.30, son. Mm. Yeah, that's about right. Deal. Thank you so much. Welcome! If you need anything, just ask. Alright then. Get this sorted, please. Alright. 1300 for the rope. Well, that seems fair enough. Thank you so much! Right, we actually have almost enough to pay off our debt. Um, but, thing is, I'm out of stuff to sell. Save for uh, the beef that I just bought today. If I can get here, who wants beef? It's what's for dinner. Yeah, everything else that we have on us, ingredients. And we need those for the market. Uh, I suppose I can move these to the front, and I feel like I'm ripping people off, though. Eh. You know what? Let's have a night on the town. Town square's lit up, and the pub. Ugh. At night, the plaza is so quiet, it's almost scary. Indeed. It would be best to return home quickly. This is a dangerous time for a girl to be wandering about. Right! A cute girl like me could end up in all kinds of peril. Uh, I do not recall saying anything about you being cute. <laughs> well... Don't sweat the small stuff. Come on, homeward ho! Hey, what are you kids doing out this late? <gasps> oh, heaven, a hoodlum! A hoodlum's gonna steal my cuteness! 
Who is there? Show yourself. Calm down, you two. It's me. No need for alarm. Thank goodness. I was about to call a grandma... <laughs> a gendarme. A what? With an appearance like his? <laughs> that's not unreasonable. Uh, now that's just cruel. Oh, poor guy. Let's go to the pub. Hmm. What is it? Say, Tear, is alcohol yummy? I love this part. <laughs> I have only tried it once before myself. Really? Wow, you're so grown up, Tear. I hated it. It stank of barrels. <laughs> barrels? Typically, most alcoholic beverages are left to age in barrels. So to drink... So the drink had a strong wooden smell, and it was not dissimilar to attempting to drink a tree. Okay, that doesn't sound yummy at all. To be honest, the popularity of this substance baffles me. It always sells well, so stocking it is always a good way to make some money. But... But barrels! Barrels. Alright, how about the market? Nah, they're closed. The Merchant's Guild. Before you stock up. Hey! I wasn't done reading that. Anything to talk about? Huh. Let's talk about fusion since that's important. Once a few merchant levels un are under your belt, you'll be able to fuse items here at the guild hall. There's quite a few items you can only get by using fusion, so I'd get real familiar with that furnace if I were you. Remember, what you put in affects what you get out of the fusion. If you put in some materials of, say, plus two quality, then you'll get an item of similar quality as a result. Keep an eye on what you're fusing, too. You don't want to waste good materials on some mediocre thing you can just buy somewhere. Another thing to keep in mind is, it can be real tempting to take your best quality items to yourself for personal use. But your customers know quality goods when they see them, and you'll earn a lot of respect if you sell top shelf merchandise. There's a couple of stages to which you can pull off a fusion as you pick some merchandise le merchant levels. So experiment and be sure to come back here often to see what you can make. If there's anything you don't know, just ask. Alright, and one more thing about unknown items too. These are little question marks that we've been picking up, just to clear these up. Now, if you go dungeon diving, you'll find a lot of stuff which you won't be able to identify at first. In particular, I'll bet my hat you'll find a lot of what are commonly called mysterious ingredients by the adventurers. At first, you'll probably be tearing your hair out of all the junk you keep finding in those places, but as your merchant level goes up, you'll be able to sort out the stuff you find and pick the best materials and whatnot from the lot. Oh, and if you manage to get out of those death traps safely, you'll have time to identify everything safely. That means you won't have to. <laughs> you won't know what you're carrying till you leave through. If there's anything you don't know, just ask. That's pretty much it. Everything else, he tells us a little about the town. If you want to know that, I can read it. Uh, you know, what the guild does and, and what to buy from here. But that's pretty much it. See if he has any other good goods. Nothing new so far. Like, I've been finding better things in the dungeon, say for iron armor. But we will be finding it in the dungeon and selling it at a higher price, given. So, that's about it. We're going to leave. And uh, I think we are done for the day as well. Church is closed, everywhere else is closed, so let's go home. Wah bam! Exceeded expectations. Plus 7,100 picks. What, no opening monologue? Well, I guess if not, then this will be the perfect time to cut off here. 
So you guys, hope you've enjoyed the latest installment of Let's Play Rested Tier on Nuclear Gothic. I sure am. We got to tell a lot of things, and uh, next episode, we'll go back dungeon diving. Because uh, we have another boss fight to do. And now that our merchant level is a little bit higher, well, we'll be finding some nicer items. Oh yes, it's definitely worth it to spend a lot of time in the shop as well as the dungeon. And I think it's a good plan to start alternating these every other day. But, that's something for another time. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Until then, De Sudanya. Needs more egg toast. Actually, people like oranges too. Oranges sell for a lot. Put an orange down. It's delicious and nutritious. Alright, you guys. It's time to open up shop. Whoa! Old men. Running the world. Hi there! My daughter in law asked me to pick this up. What in the world does your daughter in law need with an old muffler? Is she a biker? I can't buy it at that price, you know. Uh, okay, bro. I hear you. Hmm. I think a uh, windbreaker will do. And, uh, hmm. A back scratcher! Alright. I think it's good to have treasures up front. No, 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 no! Oh, yeah, later on we get to decorate our store, and Tyr thinks that our store is absolutely plain from what our decorations are so far. And uh, customers will actually think differently of our store depending on how we decorate it as well. It's all very important. And it's a fun thing to do as well. That's a great deal. Thanks, Reset. Thank you so much. Being too nice. I'll never be able to fail off my shop at this rate. Hi there. Oh, little lady. How much for this? What in the world are you buying a longsword for? 1500 old man. A good deal, little lady. Thanks! Please come again! Eee! Well, we made some money. Hmm. Yeah. How about... 55? Uh, see? That's a fine price. Thank you so much. Yay! Alright. Not sure what the old man uh, patterns are. Louie! Hi there! What can I get you? What? You have this? I mean, of course you have this. How much? Louie, for you? Baby. 600. You have to be kidding, Reset. Uh, uh, uh. Did I say 600? I meant 540. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Miser- I mean, <laughs> Miserari. Let's Play Reseteer on Nuclear Gothic. Where we last left off, it was Day Quattro, and we are behind on funds. So, we're going to go ahead and fix that today. Just going to check our calendar. Yeah, we got five days to make a sum of money. So let's go ahead and line our uh, shelves. All right, I, 
<laughs> I'm playing too much Miserari. I'm not used to these controls. So let's put a long sword right here. Hopefully, Louie will buy it. And, uh, 